East Hull. You'll see the church there, St Hilda's. I didn't know who this woman was, so I thought, let's find out a bit more about her. Born in 614 to a royal family, she had to move away, get into exile because of some issues, political issues with her father. While overseas, her father's poisoned, and suddenly this now orphan comes back and lives in the royal household. This has all the privileges of being a princess, Paulinus, who's a missionary, comes along to the royal household and after a period of time, everyone converts to the Christian faith. Things go quiet for about 16 years and then we hear about Hilda again. She's on the south coast, about to go to France where she's going to become a nun following her sister. Maybe she'd been married and widowed, we don't know, but she's about to leave the country and she gets a message from Aidan saying, don't go, come to the northeast and help us. She sets up a, a religious community a, a, with a smothered nuns and monks on the banks of the River Tyne and there it grows and thrives and eventually she moves to Whitby where she forms this religious house where people are taught about faith. It's a great centre of learning, bishops learn there. There's a great debate at the time about when the date of Easter is, uh, various uh, ways that you should do the communion and all, all these types of issues. And the king asks her, Hilda, to hold a council in Whitby to sort these things out. Due to her courage, her strength of will, and her ability to bring people together, that that council was successful and some, uh, some of these issues were dealt with. Not to everyone's satisfaction, but they were dealt with. St Hilda set up a place of great learning in the, in the centre of the northeast there and remembered for that she's the patron saint of learning and culture. Mm -hmm.